very important for me to explain what's going on. It's important for me to explain uh, uh, the details and bring the reality of uh, current day situation uh, so you will understand the story. Uh, let me share my screen. I appreciate if you can say that yep, that you we, see it, yeah. right? Yeah, we can we can see it. Everybody can okay. see it. So it's, it's a kind of official report of uh, uh, up to uh, January 29th of what happened. So I will start with Tron conversion story. What happened with the uh, uh, beginning of the uploading of the funds is that we started to receive the funds and our thinking was as following. The algorithms that we utilized to convert Tron were as following. Even that at this point, uh, all of our system indicated that it's kind of end of uh, bullish trend for Tron. We still uh, were a little bit inclined to think that it might, uh, the, the onboarding of the clients for uh, DAISY might artificially increase value of the Tron and then uh, have a short, very short, uh, sharp uh, uh, drop down of the pricing once uh, the initial wave will end. So we decided to use algorithm that will keep uh, only 10% and will not try to be advantageous with the system. So uh, during the first two days, as you can see, uh, market experience 15% of the uh, Tron uh, price decreases. And then it resulted in two, 3% depending on the account of the losses of the total uh, conversion. Now, just to uh, explain it, it's not really a big problem for us because we're talking about high risk, high return. And in high risk, high return, if you remember, our goal is to reach 100% and up. So uh, any percentage which is single digit is expected and is uh, managed. So for us, it's not, not a, a, a dramatic situation. So th that's how it started. Uh, during the next uh, few days, we were still converting trons, and now we have uh, 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 everything converted to USDT, and from this, the trading started. So how it started? We started on uh, January 4th, which is somewhere here, right, in the middle. So what happened is that uh, all of our clients, VIP clients at Endotech, experienced 60% trend on Ether, where we made the full value of the trend and also experienced the second trend of almost 100% where we took 75 to 80% of the trend. So uh, uh, after this situation, which was very successful up to uh, uh, 4th of uh, January, uh, all of our algorithms said that it's actually very high risk zone begins and thus no trading. What it means is that uh, if you look at the changes that were during this period, for several times, it went very abruptly uh, up and down, even up to 50%. So if you're taking the wrong side because you're thinking that it's a trend going down and you're taking the uh, sell, sell side, you're taking the, the sell signal, then you might experience extremely uh, uh, big losses, even with stop losses. So during this situation, we simply say, don't trade. We wait for our own indicators, uh, system indicators to say that volatility reduced and now we can start trading. So till uh, uh, 18th of January, all of our indicators said, no, don't trade. And I'm, I'm happy to report that it was the right decision. And you can see now it was the right decision to do. From uh, uh, January 18th, we started to trade now the volatility is still very high from our point of view, only now it starts to get even not today into the normal volatility. So the volatility where we can expect trends, right? So from our point of view, we started to trade very uh, with minor funds with only few out of 40 strategies that we have. And we experienced some wins, some losses. Eventually, as you can see on your screens on Daisy, we uh, uh, took another 2% of hit. But again, it's, it's a very dangerous situation and 2% of uh, uh, losses is very accepted and actually welcomed from my side because 
if it's uh, uh, during the months you experience 2% during this period, it means that systems are right where it is supposed to be. Uh, so the good stories that happened is that uh, uh, some of you that not uh, experienced the trading short, uh, we had several short algorithms kicking in, a uh, little bit saving the situation. So for example, uh, on Bitcoin, we entered short on 35, exited on 33, took again break even uh, short, resulting in uh, uh, again saving a bit of uh, the results. Also, uh, we had swing algos on Ether that entered with sell at uh, 1417 and uh, also resulting right now in, a, in a, a small wins. And altogether, we are now at uh, a five, six percent loss against single digits. We are still uh, where it's supposed to be after such massive trends that happened on the market.